Justice Minister Michael Masuta morning, says the everybody. families of Eugene de Kock's victims weren't properly consulted about the parole audible? application. I have not approved parole at this stage, but have directed that a further profile be resubmitted not later than 12 months from today instead of the two-year period prescribed by law. This will afford the victims, the offender, and other relevant structures time to participate in and finalize all outstanding processes. De Kock's lawyer says he will take the minister's decision on review and will approach the courts. Julia Knight says Masuta's reasoning is incorrect because consulting the victims' families was not a requirement when de Kock was sentenced in 1996. The Criminal Procedures Act has since been amended. But Knight argues the law doesn't apply to de Kock as he was sentenced under different parole legislation. Dubbed prime evil, de Kock was convicted on 89 charges, including murder and conspiracy to commit murder. He was sentenced to two life terms, plus another 212 years, all to run concurrently. But after applying for amnesty at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, it was reduced to a single life sentence. Who was then the commander of Flockplas? It was Colonel Cronier. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com